Greetings everybody and welcome to Just a Normie channel. If you're new, please like, subscribe, and share my content as it helps the channel grow greatly. Today, we're going to talk about some speculation and rumor on Katie Sackoff. Is she suiting up for Mandalorian? In all honesty, I like to see the Mandalorian shift away from Den Jaren character, move towards Katie Sackoff's Bo-Katan taking over. Nothing in title says that it can't be changed, and Katie has star power on multiple levels that can't rival Den Jaren's character and the actor either. I think she has more of an interesting direction forward than we have had with Mandalorian. I love the Old West gunslinger feel, but with Baby Yoda gone, what star... What star keeps people coming back to the show? No Luke. It's an interesting situation, to say the least. Recently with Katie, she had the following to say. The information from Katie Sackhoff's anonymous, on, ominous social media post, as well as reports that Season 3 has already secretly begun production, led many people to believe that not only will Bo-Katan return, but she'll provide the new motivation for the title character to set off on another adventure. And this is why I think that I, I would really like to see a move move away from on uh, Den Jaren's character and stuff. I don't, you know, he's fine for the first three episodes or first three uh, seasons or two seasons and stuff. It just seemed like at the end of it, it was pretty wrapped up. And, and they left it open to kind of branch off into... Katan story which she's got a great interesting story and background so it could be a very Game of Thrones type of situation um, with the Mandalorians and stuff and that's how I feel about it as viewers will remember the Mandalorian also known as Den Jaren, ran into another group of Mandalorians led by Bo-Katan on season two's journey she was on a quest to reclaim the dark saber a symbol of power among their ranks from Imperial hotshot Moff Gideon she also made him aware of some things about his people and the Mandalorian that almost made Den Jaren abandon his mission to get Grogu in safe hands. Despite him not wanting to join the team, Kitty Sackhoff's character agreed to help him on him take Gideon in and cap and keep ah, sorry guys and capture that results in the caper that results in Den Jaren obtaining the dark saber putting him at odds with Bo-Katan, who had been searching for it. With Grogu in safe hands of Luke Skywalker and the Mandalorian's mission that he was tasked with by his old sect complete, Season 3 will have to come up with a new reason for him to get out of bed in the morning. And it's hard to think of one more apt than rescuing his homeworld. Further, it is hard to think of a plotline where that happens and doesn't include Katie Sackhoff's Bo-Katan. Unfortunately, Disney is playing its Mandalorian Season 3 cards pretty close to the vest at the moment. Rather than tease another installment of its flagship show, it's more focused on launching its myriad of spin-offs. The latest of these new shows will be The Book of Boba Fett, which is expected to come out in December of 2021. Not much in, is known about the story, but... It's possible that Katie Sackhoff and Peter Pascal's character will show up given how the spinoff was initially teased. After the Mandalorian returned Grogu and, and inadvertently put himself at odds with Katie Sackhoff's character, a post-credit post scene showed Boba Fett return to Tatooine, specifically Jabba the Hutt's old palace where he assumed power of the desert planet underworld. The Book of Boba Fett is expected to pick up where the story left off. <clears throat> I am not sure that the Mandalorian is coming back. They they keep claiming it, but Pedro Pascal is pretty busy on other projects. But I wonder if it is more of a Katie Sackhoff show. What do you all think? Not much here, but speculation, nothing more. I love Katie Sackhoff. She's such a great actress, so underrated and stuff and all that. I've said that over and over and over and ever since I've seen her at BSG and I know there was a lot of controversy about the, the um, gender swap and stuff like that but it was well done. And Katie Sackhoff pulled it off and stuff and um, she's just been in so many other things, you know what I'm saying? And um, so, but uh, we're coming up on five minutes. Um, 
Let me know what you think down below. Like, subscribe, and share. Take care, everybody. Bye.